how to destroy the entire world. The world is made up of continents, which is made up of countries, made up of states, then cities, villages, communities, which are made up of individual homes or families. So if you want to destroy the world, you start by destroying the human family. Now God's design of the family is God who is the foundation and source, the father who is the provider, protector and disciplinarian as well as teacher, the mother who is the nurturer, caregiver, emotional support and teacher, and the children who are the offspring. The children are the future of the world. So the first step in destroying the family is to remove the most important person, God. You do this by removing God from the education system and pushing the agendas that there is no God, the Bible is outdated, science is fact, God is fiction, and whatever else nonsense people believe these days. The next step in destroying the family is the removal of the father. This step is much easier now that God is gone. You see, because godless homes produce young adults with a morally corrupt lifestyle. Slack godless women go about giving up their womb to multiple men outside of marriage. Weak godless men go about creating children that they have no intention of fathering. This usually results in what we call single parent households, most of which the mother only remains and the father is excluded. Fatherless homes proliferate fatherless homes and now you're left with an epidemic of broken family units with no god and no father. But it doesn't stop there. Now the single parent is left with the full responsibility of the home. They are so busy making ends meet that they have minimal time to spend raising their children themselves. So the child goes to school and he's learning his principles from the education system. And what is the system teaching? The system teaches your child that now you can have a family with two fathers or two mothers as parents and somehow that is perfectly fine. This stupidity further corrupts the already broken family units that we have in the world. Now you're left with homes that have no God and no father. Some have no mothers. Some have two mothers, two fathers. It's a complete mess. Now the result of broken godless homes is that it produces morally weak offspring. Our young men are growing up with no fear of God, no strong sense of integrity and righteousness and godly character. Our young women are growing up with no sense of chastity, no humility or loyalty, experts in manipulation, and the list goes on. So these faulty misguided youths evolve to become corrupt politicians, fraudulent judges, unethical policemen, ruthless criminals, dishonest businessmen, greedy pastors, all who pollute and dismantle our communities, states and nations. Now you have a selfish and cold world where no one loves or respects their neighbor, everyone fights for themselves, family becomes enemies, close friends backstab each other, nobody could be trusted. It's country against country, nation against nation, mankind divided against himself and destroying his own race. It's only a matter of time before a world like this collapses and self-destructs and it all begins with the removal of the most important member of the family, God.